Titan Six on Guitars Luthier Lessons, we're covering French polishing. Um, I touched on it in the last video, but I really want to explain it. There's an alternate method for filling the grain if you don't want it to go with the pumice method. Um, the pumice method is traditional. Uh, it's the way that they did it years and years, years, and years ago. Um, I personally think it takes a really, really long time. Um, the purists out there are going to be mad uh, because they've been doing it for a very, very long time. They really know how to do it efficiently, and that's part of it, too. I mean, if you've been doing this for years and years and years, you can do it with the, form, with the pumice method, and you can do it very efficiently. It just takes a lot of time to get there. So in order to expedite things a little bit, I'm going to take a regular Zinsers 3-pound cut of shellac right out of the can. Um, you can make your own 3-pound cut if you want, but I've got the can here. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to lay a few coats of that on here nice and thick with a brush. And the reason I'm going to do that is because that extra thick coat on there is going to fill all my pores for me. Now it's also going to fill everything else. It's, it's just going to go where it goes. So there's still going to be dimples in the surface. What I'll be able to do after that is come back and sand out so that way I bring the surface back down level. And what will wind up happening then is I'll have a nice level surface to work with. The same thing as if we were to do the pumice method. So I'll bring over the bench and show you I'm throwing a few coats on there. And we'll let that dry out for, I'm going to let that dry for several hours just because you really want that to be 100% dry before you start sanding it. I'll bring you over and show you how to do that. And like I said, it's a little bit faster method. I think it's a little bit easier method. And you're still going to French polish the top. You're still going to lay down those microscopic layers on the top. So your mirror finish, it's not going to be changed. It's not going to be any different. Um, some of the experts out there may be able to tell the difference, maybe. But I, I mean, it's very, very difficult to do so. I mean, you can fill the pores in a number of different methods before you French polish. It really doesn't matter how you fill the pores. What matters is your French polish application technique. So like I said, I'll bring you over to the bench now, and we'll show you how to do that. So we're with the bench, and I've got my Zinsers. This is the Amber Tone Shellac. Um, it's the same kind that I'm using when I do the, my Moan Mix, except the only difference between this and the other stuff is this is a three-pound cut. So this is significantly thicker than the normal stuff. So is this brush going to fit? Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay down a couple of coats on here. And I want to do it thick enough that it fills really well, but I don't want to do it so thick that it gets goobered up or, you know, it's just way too much on there for no reason. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay some of this down, and I'm just kind of brushing away nice and easy. I don't want to, I don't want to really agitate it or stir it up too much. I just kind of want to get a good coat on there. Don't want to leave a ton of streaks just so that way I don't have a ton of sanding to do later. But you can see, I mean, the color is already changing. There's already, I mean, you can already see part of the garage on there. I mean, it's got a pretty, pretty good mirror line going already. I mean, and that's, that's the nice thing about shellac, even brushed, you know, shellac will look good and will have a nice finish. But when you use the French polishing method, you really, really get a high gloss. So I'm going to put on this coat, you know, again, a little bit thicker than I would normally do it because I'm going to sand off 90% of this or more. You get a little bit of squeegee kind of sound there. That's fine because this stuff dries very, very quickly. So again, I got my first coat on there. You know, you can see, you can see reflections in there. I just touched it. <laughs> You can see reflections in there pretty well, and it's got a really nice shine to it, and then part of that is really because it's wet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, just kind of brush this on. And again, we're getting a little tacky already, so I don't want to brush too much. When I brush that on, that's one coat. I'm going to give that probably 20 minutes or so to gas off. And then once it's kind of tacky or dry to the touch, I'll go ahead and put another layer on. You get a few layers of this going, probably three, you know, maybe four. You know, want to build up a nice thick coat and then we'll come back and we'll sand this down. Now I'm gonna put on these layers, you know, kind of as the day goes on here, and then I'll bring you back after it's cured out for a few hours, and we'll actually do the sanding back. And that's what'll leave our pores filled and our surface ready for French polish.